Hi, teacher. Uh, good evening. I'm not in my home yet. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna say as a listener. Who was talking, Adriana? Sí, teacher, Adriana. Ah, bye, Adriana. Okay, hello, hello. How are you today? Hi. Que poquito sabemos. Vamos a ver. Hi, teacher. Hello. And in this moment in the world, I I listening in the moment. Okay, uh, David, verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Y qué tal de lluvia por allá? Mucha lluvia, mucha lluvia. Si sí, aquí también se ha venido bastante fuerte y quizás por eso no se han conectado muchos hoy. Y el tráfico se ve que está bien feo también. Me imagino, me imagino. Cada vez que llueve el tráfico se pone pero pesadísimo. Súper, súper pesado. No se imagina aquí que están construyendo el paso a nivel de Claudia Lars. Es un verdadero dolor de cabeza. Y sí, 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 porque hay calles donde no se puede cruzar, ¿verdad? Así Literalmente es. de tres carriles solo dejan uno para el volumen de, de carros que vienen de Santa Ana para San Salvador. No se imagina, son dos horas de tráfico para hacer 16 kilómetros. Wow, wow, sí está tremendo. Y la lluvia que termina de acelerar todo, vea, porque no, la... Y la lluvia hace que la gente ande como que es loca por todos lados. No, es cierto, es bien peligroso porque las calles están lisas. Entonces eso complica todo. ¿Verdad? Sí, teacher. Pero ahí le aviso cuando llegue porque ahorita sí estoy un poquito verde. Vaya, David, claro que sí, está bien. Vamos a ver, bueno, vamos a llamar a Tenders. A ver si se nos van agregando en el transcurso del tiempo acá los demás. <ríe> Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Eh, Ana Alicia. Ana. Mi teacher. Uy, qué frío. Hello. <ríe> Yo tengo frío. Hello, Oscar. Hola. Carlos Josué. Carlos, Carlos Josué. Vino, pero ya casi llego. Ah, oh, Carlos Josué. Sí, sí. Va, ok, perfecto. Eh, David Alexander. Present. Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Good evening. Diego, ay, qué frío. En serio, yo tengo frío. <ríe> yo sé que no me iba a mojar, ¿verdad? Ay, no. Elda Cristina. Present teacher, solo que voy en camino por la lluvia. Uy, Elda, vaya, mucho cuidado, mucho cuidado. Right. Eh, Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, ¿no? Gemma. Gemma Carolina. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. No. No here. Oh. 
José Alfredo. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie, no, ¿verdad? Ok, Carla Lorena, sí. Lizette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Present. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Rebeca. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo. <coughs> Rodrigo, Ana Grisel, sí. Carolina, Grace Michelle, Grace, present teacher, eh, Rosa Hilda, Rosa Hilda, Luis Mauricio. Vaya, voy de regreso. Luis Mauricio, Rosa Hilda, Ana Grisel, Rodrigo, Rebeca, Karen Stephanie, José Alberto. Present teacher. Present quién? Ay, Estefan. Karen, Karen Estefan. Eh, José Alberto. José Alfredo. Jessica. Gemma Carolina. Elmer Fabricio. Presente. Gemma. A Jessica. Gemma, no here. Elmer. Elmer Fabricio. Diego. Present teacher. David, ya está. Eh, Ana. Ok, nice. Ya somos. Oh, ya somos más. Karen Stephanie. Okay, yes, Karen Stephanie. But okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, bueno, vamos. I'm going to share. I'm going to share the presentation. Okay. Good evening, well, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine. I'm fine. ¿Qué tal de lluvia en Sonsonate? No, ¿dónde es que está, no? Sí, son San so Salvador, San Salvador. San Salvador. There, there, is, uh, there is raining since, since like 3 p.m. Yeah, since like 3 p.m. Three p.m. and it's a hard rain. Wow! Yeah, right now it's a very heavy rain. A okay. Bueno, lo bueno es que ya está en casita, verdad? Eso es lo bueno. Okay, vamos a ver. I have. Uh, we have a beginning of a new lesson today. That's uh, talking about vocabulary serving and taking food orders. Okay, 
that's the vocabulary. And we are going to be talking about procedures. Okay, that, that's the, the main point today. And remember that this unit number two in the platform will be a little irregular. That, that is only unit number two. That means that we will have today's class, tomorrow's class, and then on Thursday, you will have the homework for the two video conferences. Yes? So you have, uh, we begin unit six. Tomorrow, it's a review of unit five mixed with unit six. Okay, so that, that's the lesson I have. So uh, the, the homework that you will do is not today, is tomorrow. See, it's tomorrow. So for today, you can relax, you can sleep, and don't worry, it's raining. So you can go to sleep early and don't worry about homework. Tomorrow, uh, the assignment will be on today's class and tomorrow's class. Tomorrow we have a class, okay? No hay asueto para el día del mes. I thought we were, no. we will have. Pues no. No, no hay asueto para el día del maestro. Así es que tenemos clase, oye. Les digo desde ya por si se me olvida después y cuando les diga al final nos vemos mañana, no me vayan a decir, no, mañana no, ¿cómo no? Mañana, ¿ok? Porque si sí hay clase, no hay asueto. Oye, ya nos dijeron, no hay asueto para mañana, tenemos clase normal. O sea, seguimos como, como cualquier otro día. Ok, vaya, check. We have a couple of questions here. Are procedures in a restaurant important? What do you think? Is the customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? What do you think? Okay. Basha. Uh, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go discuss these questions. I want to I want to hear your opinions, right? So I'm going to send you to discuss with your partners. Let's make like a few things. Vamos a ver, Jessica, Karen, tengo Adriana, David, Elda. Mm. Huh. Adriana, uy, que va la que te me ya yo. Ahí está, que no me vaya a quedar Adriana y Elda en la misma, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Quién se me perdió aquí? Tenía cuatro en el número, en el grupo uno y de repente se me perdió uno. Espérenme, voy a volver a crear. José Alberto. Cheque su nombre porque me aparece como A72 de José Alberto. Sí, dice, eh, no me dejaba ingresar el link, entonces Mire, me tocó ingresar. Ya le, voy, ya le voy a cambiar el nombre, entonces. Okay. Okay. <risa> Pero no me voy a poner Roberto. Ya, José Roberto, lo pone. Carlos Alberto, <risa> José Roberto. <risa> Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Quiero ver. Como ya no quiso Carlos Roberto, no, que como era Carlos, José Roberto, le cambiamos a Carlos Alberto. Vamos a ver. Ah, ve qué bonito, no me. Qué feo, no me deja pegar. Bueno, vamos a escribir entonces. José Alberto.
Baño Hernández. ¿verdad? Ay, no, eso de estar escribiendo con una mano, de repente se me va todo en mayúscula. Va, ahí está. Todos los demás estamos cabales. Sí, no problema. Vale. Ahí está. Ya tenemos. Uh -huh. Elda, I'm going to send Elda to a group of four. And I'm going to send. Adriana. Uy, me ha quedado Adriana y David en el mismo grupo. That's not possible. Vale. Ok, perfecto. Yo creo que estamos ya bien. Para que siempre hayan por lo menos dos que hablar. Va, there we go. Adrián, ay, ¿qué pasó, Diego? Se me quedó solito, se le salió el compañero. <ríe> es segunda vez que se me salen a me, estando armados los grupos. Okay, hoy sí. Let's go. Let's join. Discuss the questions, please. The ones I showed you at the beginning. Okay. Try to join, please. Jessica, Karen, Stephanie, try to join. Hola. Hi. Hi. Uh, solo usted está Rebeca, ¿verdad? Ahí está Grace, Grace Michelle. Yes, teacher. Y Elda, pero Elda está manejando todavía, oye. Okay. Okay. Eh, vamos a discutir de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes. Right now you're discussing the two questions. Page number what? Page number Sorry. <laughs> 17. Uh-huh. Yes, page 17. 17. You need to. Ok, go ahead. Ok, déjame ver un manual. Ahí está en el, en el chat. Ok, ah, me sale más fácil revisar el chat. Sí. En el chat de WhatsApp. Ok. No, me ha no, no me ha caído. Hola. No lo puse hace días. Ah, ok. Sería. Si no comparto pantalla. Por favor. Ok. Please, sorry. Thank you. Ahí está. Okay. Serían estas preguntas. 
Are procedures in a restaurant important? Is a customer experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Okay. In my opinion, or in my case, the procedures are important because uh, they uh, give the order to the develop of the restaurant. Yes. All right. Uh, is the develop is el desempeño, ¿verdad? El desarrollo del mismo. Mm -hmm. yes. That's okay. the develop. And your opinion, Rebecca? Um, I think are very important because 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 I love priority priorities 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 are. Priority uh, at the client. Algo ya preparado. In English. Estamos we haciendo la idea en Spanish. Ah, we were talking yeah. in English, but then we cannot say some words. <laughs> Come on. We were talking about, we were saying, yes. It's very important in a, in a restaurant have organized the procedures for the for the I prepare the food. Mm -hmm. Who who will who was the one that is going to wash the dishes? Who was the one that uh, take the orders? Who was the one that uh, we don't know. Well, I've never been in a I've never be in a kitchen, so I don't know how they prepare. For example, one person prepared all the meat, all the meat, another person prepare fry, eh, este, rice, arroz, rice, yeah, or right. another the vegetable, because the people, the customers wants to eat eh, the food eh, in preparing the moment i uh -huh. I, guess I i think well uh -huh. what i have seen in a cafeteria where we go to eat sometimes is that one person is making the tortillas another one is peeling the vegetables another is making the rice another is cooking the rest of the food like chicken meat and other things uh, so they divide well, but the but this is in a in a place that is the food is it is like the same. But for example, in a restaurant with a chef, you mean? Aha, uh -huh, like fancy restaurant. Uh, uh -huh. One of the people wants cordon bleu. Another one meet in no sé, in hongos. Me me explico. Uh, I don't know how they prepare that kind of special dishes. Uh -huh, it's true. I heard I heard that they have the main chef and the second chef or something something like that. Mm -hmm, it's true. So Dayanara has another opinion that was nice uh -huh. what, what by the way mm -hmm. go ahead Dayanara you were saying good <laughs> ideas <laughs> uh, restaurant have less risk of uh, injury uh -huh. uh, and full uh, sanitation issues yeah and the issue is um, employees have 
uh, have set of uh, procedure, like our aprender, procedure to follow. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. So the procedures are very, very important. Para que, eh, what for the food or the clients were or will be satisfied. I am going to look for information in in internet procedures procedures in a kitchen and I am going to read it for you okay okay kitchen creo, creo que sería um, <coughs> Eh, es decir, la, la persona que lo atiende. The person who attends try to speak in English. Okay. The person to attend. Eh, uh -huh. Have uh, take the order and, and confirm the order. Uh, before go to the cook, no sé si me entendían. Si el chico que le toma la orden se confirma antes de irse a la cocina, llevarlo uh -huh. a la cocina. Uh -huh. the, the experience of a customer uh, maybe be maybe affected for the the moment of take the order and uh, after the serve uh, a different food yeah <clears throat> good I, I think it's good uh, uh, the it's okay the processor incomplete uh, affected the, the experience of customer. Or uh, a bad procedure or incomplete procedure maybe affected the experience of customer. O sea, un mal procedimiento, un procedimiento incompleto puede afectar la experiencia, una buena experiencia de un Sí. Definitely. Why? Sería, quiero ver. Is, bueno, si es, a ver cómo dice usted, is they, they know, they, the ordering. The brown is affect, affect, affection and process, process, process. You should write it down so you don't forget. En español sería, así que si lo toma mal la orden, afecta la atención. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, because you will give something different, right? I think my think a customer loyalty. Let 
pero de qué más podría ser. Tal vez okay. podría ser algo así como estar innovando con los productos, como para estar manteniendo la atención del cliente. Así sería para mantener a los clientes. Sí, así sería. Quiero ver. También los precios mantener, porque ahorita en esta situación creo que solo los restaurantes que están mal, vea que han bajado sus precios se están manteniendo uh -huh. yo he visto en San Miguel hay un fútbol en el encuentro y cada rato cierran los locales que no les pegan por los uh -huh. precios muy altos Y debería de ser más barato porque yo pude comprobar, por ejemplo, en Papa John's, comer en el restaurante más caro, casi que el doble que comprar ahí en el food court. Y hay promociones en el food court que no las tiene el restaurante. Sí, eso sí. Es cierto. Sería low price. price. Lo de innovar productos, ya no lo pusimos, vea. ¿Cómo no? Product sí. in innovation for key customers. ¿Eh? Ah, ok. Vaya, yo he puesto acá mejorar ofertas acerca de eh, mejorar ofertas acerca de los precios. Improve Entonces, sales. Eh, improve offers about price. ¿Cómo me dijo? Improve offers About price. About price. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Una buena atención al cliente también. Es bien importante eso porque hay en lugares que lo atienden bien mal a uno, ya no, ya no le gusta llegar a uno. Uh -huh. It's true. You don't want to go anymore, right? 
Aham. Uhum. And uh, for line, uh, they provide good service. ¿Cómo? En la línea 4, habíamos ¿Sí? puesto algo parecido: de proveer un buen servicio. Ah, cliente. sí, me. Y cuidado al cliente. Sí, es cierto, ya está ahí. Que tenga un ambiente agradable. Ya lo pusimos. An agreeable. Nice environment. Thank you, teacher. Nice environment. Eso sería todo lo de la primera pregunta. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Y, y con lo de la segunda pregunta. The second question. The second question. Is a customer experience and restaurant affected by procedures? I write. Yes. The customer's experience is affected by, producer, by, by procedures because that give a good or bad image of the place. Mm -hmm. And Could you repeat, please? Okay. Está bien lo que dice. Sí, lo estoy viendo. Sí, así, así dejemos. Quizás solo pueden ¿Sí? negrita las preguntas. Did you finish? Okay. Yes, finished, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. Coming, coming. Hey, ten seconds. Uh 
Okay, perfect. Let's see, are procedures in a restaurant important? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. We were working with Dayanara and we and we look for some information and we want to share with, with you. Mm -hmm. uh, they have two times or two moments that are very important in a restaurant that are kitchen opening and kitchen closing. So you have to have checklist for each of them. Uh, Diana, do you want to read the first reason that they say that you have to have checklist for those moments? Okay, reason number one, they are clear and concise, concise. We all forget something here and there. Checklist make that um, possibility with clearly laid or oh, that's an instruction for your team to follow. Number two, they say that they uh, the checklist they organize. Need one set of hands putting food in the walk-in and another set of hands pre preparing the workstation. Uh, dice que break up the kitchen checklist task, task as you see fit pending on the side of your crew, kitchen and list of duties. So there are more a uh, reason that you have to use checklist in a restaurant. We share only two. So that's our information. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Anna. One more group to share. One more group. Volunteer victim. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Elmer show. Fabricio. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. I work here with um, Oscar and Mauricio. We think that are very the processes are very important. The processes make the customer satisfied uh, with go quality and excellent service about pro procedures or an incomplete procedures could affect the good experience to the customers for example server a different dish or server a cool a cool food um a bad aptitude of the wider could be unpleasant oh yeah also also that I church something has not been ordered. Definitely. That is very important. The way the waiter receives the order and the way uh, he or she attends the client, right? To the customer. That's really important. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Elmer. Now, we're going to move to what are procedures, right? But before that, remember yesterday we were talking about could and might when talking about suggestions or talking about requests, right? Uh, when we describe a, a procedure, a procedure that has to be followed in a restaurant, that's not a suggestion, right? That is something mandatory. Remember, a suggestion is something that you could do, right? It's optional. If you want to, you can do it. Um, but if we're talking about procedures, are steps to follow. So are not suggestions if you want to follow them, right? So that's something very important. I want you to, to see the difference between a procedure that are steps that are given 
in uh, any place, it doesn't matter where. Right now we're talking about restaurant, but they can be followed everywhere, right? Tomorrow we're going to be working a little bit more with this, okay? And uh, talking more about might and could and checking all the other uses that they might, might have, okay? Okay, let's see. This is something we didn't finish yesterday, so you can find it in page 16. Uh, you're going to match the words to describe promotional strategies. Uh, remember, we were talking about promotional strategies yesterday, and you were giving suggestions on what promotions to do. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to see uh, the descriptions and the words and you match. Okay, and then we will check it. Twenty is Rosie here. Rosie, Rosie. No. Hay problemas en Sonsonate y Aguachapán. ¿Qué pasó? Somebody knows. Teacher, sorry, pero es que aquí en Sonsonate está cayendo una gran tormenta y casi no se escucha la clase. Sonsonate, Santa Ana y Aguachapán ha estado terrible, ¿verdad? Toda la semana. Sí, y falla un poco la señal, por rato no se escucha. Sí, yo me imagino que Rosy y, y, y Luis han tenido problemas porque no se han conectado desde, de, bueno, ayer no se conectaron ninguno. Me imagino yo que debe ser por la cuestión de la, de la señal, ¿verdad? Es la, la desventaja de los árboles, ¿verdad? Y tan chulos que son y tan rico el clima. <ríe> Pero cuando hay lluvias ahí se, se ve afectado bastante. Bueno, vamos a ver. Publicity stunts. What are publicity stunts? You have publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, loyalty offerings, and sampling. Mm -hmm. Offering several products for sales as one company, combined product. Which one? Publicity stunts. Publicity stunts. Which one? Offering several products for sale. Over an, offering several products for sale as one combined product. Okay. Vamos a buscar. I think it is the same. You think so? Yeah. Bye. Okay. Let's put letter A here. What is bundling? What's bundling? Uh, planet event. Mm -hmm. A planet event designed to attract the public attention. Okay. The dictionary says that bundling is the selling of different items, typically of hardware or software, together as a package. That's bundling. So what do you think? In the task teacher, a is a planet event designed to attract the public attention. Why do you say so? Because I did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to read you the definition again. It's the selling of different items, 
typically of hardware or software together as a passage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the definition of Cambridge Dictionary. Is the act of selling several products or services together. Uh -huh. The promotion of a product. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Listen again. Is the act of selling several products or services together. Offering several products for sales as one combinated product. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's yes. this one, right? Yes. Okay. Vamos a cambiarle. Teacher, excuse me. May I say something? Tell me. Yesterday, I was the I was working in this homework, mm -hmm. and when I respond as you in this moment. The the item was wrong, so I was changing because the the ay, the res, la respuesta the answer eh, me salía mal. So in, el, in, el, the, in the in the homework, aha. Uh -huh. So I change it, and this is this is not the answer. Be eh, from in base of the homework. No, a ver. I can share with you. Déjeme ver, yo ya la hice. Ah, yo ya hice todas las tareas de la semana, ¿eh? <ríe> Como buena niña. Ya, vamos a ver. Abre. Es la tarea... Ajá, no, la 1.9, la, la última. Yes, sí. one point. Sí, lo han puesto como publicity stunts, es cierto. Busquemos pues en el dictionary, what is a publicity stunt? ¿Y por qué han puesto? Sí, lo han puesto como publicity stunts. Y bundling como a plan event designed to attract the public's attention. Pero yes. entonces. It's wrong. Yes. Ajá. Veamos bien. Porque dictionary says it's the act of selling, the act of selling several products or services together. Y si aquí la definición me dice eh, offering several products for sale or combined product. Combine es como que dijera together, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, but if you write it in that way, the answer is wrong in the homework, so that's why no, I igual. change it. Eh, sí, no, igual, pero vámonos a ir a lo que es correcto, aunque la tarea esté mala, ¿verdad? Y si ahí está mala la elección, la vamos a corregir. Vamos a buscar cuál es eh, la definición de publicity stunts. What is publicity stunts? I'm looking. I I think the publicity stunt is a plan and event designed to attract the public's attention. Uh -huh. Something unusual that is done to attract people's attention to a per particular person, product, or organization. But Teacher, then, no. Aquí dice publicity stunt, dice in marketing a publicity stunt is a planned event designed to attract the public's attention mm -hmm. to events organizers or their cause. Uh -huh. Publicity stunts can be professionally organized or set up by amateurs. Ahí está, o sea que la tarea está mal. ¿Verdad? Porque yes. the professional, yes. vamos a ver, the, a plan event designed to attract the public's attention is not bundling. That is publicity stunt. Y eh, according to the dictionary, 
offering several products for sale as a combined product is bundling. ¿Sí? It's bundling. Es yeah. lo que el diccionario me dice a mí. Entonces, ahorita les va a salir malo, pero igual lo voy a reportar para que lo arreglen en la plataforma. Oye, porque no nos podemos quedar con la tarea mala porque aquí está un error. Entonces, according to the dictionary, Eh, hay, que, hay, que, hay que corregirlo. Yo no sé si ya corrigieron la otra. Ya voy a revisar. Es la tarea 1.9, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Vamos a buscar la, la definición del diccionario. Ahí estoy escribiendo todo en mayúscula. El asunto es que quizás se han basado en los manuales. Ustedes saben que el manual tiene un montón de errores. Entonces, si se basaron en el manual, ahí se fueron los errores. Pero como mi trabajo es encontrarle los errores al manual, bueno, no es ese, ¿verdad? pero... Pero, pero es que, que les quede a ustedes la respuesta correcta, como debe de ser. Vaya, ahí está, ya reportados los dos y esperamos que en el transcurso de, pues, del día de mañana o pasado o antes de que acabe el curso nos corrija. Quiero revisar si ya nos corrigieron el uno, de hecho. No. Y pongo ya, que es tercera vez que señalo ese error y que sigue todavía allí. Bye. Ok. No se preocupen, tiene que estar buena de aquí al, al, al final, si no, pues seguiremos insistiendo hasta que lo, lo arreglen. Bye. Entonces dijimos, publicity stunt is, according to the dictionary, a plan event designed to attract the public's attention, right? Bundling is offering several products for sale as one combined product. What are public relations? 
The professional my team. The professional my team the of the favorable public. public image. Okay. What is loyalty offerings? Personalized incentives. Incentives. Personalized incentives. Personalized. Yeah, personalized. And the last one, sampling. The promotion of a product mm -hmm. by distributing, by distributing samples. samples of. Yes. Yes, <clears throat> yes. Okay, perfect. A bit, a bit. Uh, any questions? No, teacher, okay. thank you. Okay. Bye. Don't worry, okay? Put the answers the way they should be. Y esperemos pues que nos la corrijan pronto. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about procedures. A uh, procedure. What is a procedure? I have, I have here a couple of definitions. One, an established or official way of doing something, a series of actions conducted in a certain order or manner. And also, uh, well, when you have a, in your job, you get instructions on how to do different things, right? So first you have to do this and then you do this and then you do this other thing. So those are the, the procedures. And before we continue, I'm going to do something that is part of the procedure, right? And that's called like the the at nine. <laughs> sí. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Adriana. Present, teacher. Eh, Analicia. Oh, no. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Teacher, I said present. Sí, sí, le oí. So sorry. Le oí. <laughs> Diego. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin, uh, Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, por allí lo vi. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica, Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Gemma, Jessica. Porque no es José Alfredo. <risa> <risa> es que me contestan allá después, cuando ya llamé a un niño, entonces ya no, no pega. <risa> sí, sir, pero yo sí, yo sí contesté cuando usted me llamó. No sé Jess si es José. Jessica. No, Gemma, Gemma. Gemma, sí, Gemma, sí. Ah, ok. <risa> Y si no es José Alfredo, ¿verdad? José Alfredo le cambió la voz. Ok, José Alfredo, no here. José Alberto. Present teacher. Que lo molesto, ¿verdad? <risa> Karen Janet. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Elisette. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rodrigo Marcelo. Rodrigo. No está Rodrigo ahora. Eh, Ana Grisel. Ana. Ana, Ana, Ana. No está. Ana Grecer. Eh, Carolina nos abandonó, ¿verdad? Ya no vino. Eh, Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. Rosa Hilda. 
with Mauricio. Okay, bueno, we have finished. I'm here, teacher. ¿Quién? Elmer Fabricio. <laughs> sí, sí, lo vi, lo vi y lo he estado viendo que ahí está, porque no me contesto. Es que tenía problema con, con el, el lato. Ah. Ajá, micro. Va, ah, pues sí, pero ya le puse allí present. Gracias, thank you. Vamos a ver, well, let's continue talking about procedures, right? Okay, we said it's an established or official way of doing something. Every company has a, a procedure. So you know what is the official way of doing something. And you can say, pero allá donde yo trabajaba era así, sí, no importa. But in this other company, the things are this way. So the, that, that's the procedure, right? And we have to respect that if something was one way in one company where we used to work, in the next company will not necessarily be the same, right? Another definition for procedure is a series of actions conducted in a certain order or manner. That's when you go like, okay, first do this and second and then and next and after that and finally, right? When we follow different steps or an order, right, to do something. Another definition says that procedures offer steps or instructions for how to complete a project or a task. You know that a task, donde está mouse? A task is a group of activities, right? It's not just one. So when I follow a task, I have to follow steps because uh, in math, people say el orden de los factores no altera el producto, right? That in, when you are working, sometimes you already mentioned that the procedure can affect the experience of the customer. And the customer can be happy or not, depending on the procedure. And if you follow the steps correctly, right? Now, the last one, procedures are most useful for tasks that involve multiple steps, right? So you see, all of them go to, 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 to go to the same place, right? Or require documentation. When you document something, when we say documentation, it's like, okay, I'm, go I'm going to keep a record of what I'm doing, right? So I'm going to write or type the information. And of course, there is a logical sequence to follow when I document something. I'm not going to start by the end, right? Or I'm not going to start giving the instructions from the mini, from the middle, and then going to the end and then to the beginning. So they have to follow a, an order as we mentioned here, and they have to be documented correctly. Okay, now let's say, what is an example of a procedure? That's a very simple procedure, like when you make an omelet, right? So first you crack the egg into a bowl, you beat it, you scramble them in a pan. Pan es cacerola, no vaya a pensar que en el pan hecho un huevo, no. Right? So that's a pan, the casserole. So if you're using vegetables, oh, first you cut the vegetables, you put them in a bowl, then you crack the egg, you put it on the bowl too, and you beat it, yes? And after that, you put it on the pan and you go upside down, right? And you have a omelette. So that's a simple procedure. I have here another one that is more complicated, like for sending and checking emails to clients. Probably you will say, we teacher, we don't follow all those steps. They are too many. Mm -hmm, no problem, right? It depends on what you want to communicate, what you want to check. 
this is a checking email, right? Uh, depending on the situation, those are the different steps or procedures that you will follow. Check here. We have one, find the email address of the client you're checking in with. Two, determine which services were provided. Three, open a draft for a new email from your company email account. Uh, four, address the email to the client by including their first name or their title and last name in the greeting. Uh, five, mention the service we provide for the client in first paragraph of the email using the la well, esto se lo corté porque era muy grande, but you use respectful language, right? And next, number six, offer additional service in the second paragraph in the email. Seven, invite the client to contact you. And the last one, sign off with a friendly greeting. Okay, this is an example of um procedure that we follow when we are checking in uh, emails to clients right so remember it depends on what you are doing that's how you will have uh, different procedures that can be simple or more complex right now what you're going to do here here we have different steps uh, that a waiter follows when he has to order uh, to serve or to take and serve an order, right? You have take customer's order, confirm the order, sit the customer, serve the food, greet the customer, handle the food correctly. What you have to do here, according to your experience, probably you do not have experience as a waiter, uh, that you have experience as a customer. So what are the steps? to be followed. Mm -hmm. Great the customer. Excuse me. Great. Greet the customer. Greet the customer. Okay, first I greet the customer. Next. It's the customer. Sit the customer. Sí. Take the customer's order. Number three. Number three. Number four. Confirm the Confirm order. The Confirm the order. Next. Handle the food correctly. And then serve the serve the food. Okay, so you see, step number five is not possible without the step number three, for example, right? Because if you don't know what the client wants, you cannot handle any food that the customer has in order, right? And you cannot serve any food that the customer has not uh, confirmed, okay? Now, taking it to, into account, ouch, mi compus loca. We have some words to follow, to check here, right? First, handle, confirm, payment, greeting, and notify. The first thing we will do is go to the groups, check the meaning of these words and write the definition. Remember to use your dictionary. I'm going to share there in the chat. I'm going to share a dictionary. This is a Cambridge dictionary. Um, one, one reserve. Cambridge. Hmm? Um, okay, okay, what did you say? One reserver. You That's what... uh, confirmar. Okay. Three pago. Four is salud. Ah, eso es lo que van a ir a hacer. No, 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 no in Spanish. You Echo. will go and check the definition in an English English dictionary. Ya se los comparto aquí en el chat. Okay. 
oyen, porque quiero definition no mínimo, ¿sí? No in Spanish. I want you to give me a definition in English. Ok. Ahí les puse en el chat de WhatsApp, les puse el dictionary for you to check. Ya, ready? Va, me lo llevo. We are 18. Espero que logren entrar todos porque la vez anterior estuvimos rebotando y terminamos con un montón de gente en un grupo y otros cuantos desaparecidos. Vamos a ver si, si que de repente vi, ups, cuánta gente está afuera. Verdad que con este clima loco, de repente me lo saca. Vale, allá vamos. Remember, check the meanings in the dictionary in English. English, English Dictionary. Try to join. Julia, he hecho traducción. No translation, definition, Oscar. Yes, teacher. Translation, no, definition. Okay. Ay, pero quizás, teacher, pero quizás él, él ¿cómo se llama? Oh, esperen. Es que se me meto el diccionario. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Ah, yo me meto el diccionario ahorita, no la puedo ver. Solo, solo la escucho, pero no, no la veo, no sé, no sé si usted me ve. Si me meto. Ah, lo que pasa es que como estoy utilizando el diccionario. Pues, ah, yo también, ahorita. Estoy utilizando el celular, pero... Me a mí me saca Ajá. también. But you can Ajá. listen to each other, that's important, don't worry. Okay. Eh, teacher, <laughs> the definition is to feel or manipulate with the hand. Mm -hmm. Handle. Maybe, maybe having the lack Slash can be difficult to handle. Yes. Esa es la definición. ¿Dónde está eso? Handle. 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 Sí. Handle. Vaya a usar feel. Feel or manipulate. Vamos a ver aquí. Pero bueno, para retroceder porque me noto aquí un sapo. Mm -hmm. You can help each other reading the definitions over there. This word uh, how pronunciation. 
how do you pronounce arrangement? arrangement. That's arrangement. Arrange. That is the definition in the Cambridge Dictionary feature. Okay. Statement. An amount of money paid. Paid. Yes, that's right. Reading. Mm -hmm. Sounds friendly. Something friendly or polite that you said or do when you meet or welcome someone. When you meet or welcome someone. Someone. Mm -hmm. Tell someone. Notify. Something or something, mm -hmm. that's right. Object is that is. A part of an object to sign it for holding, moving, or, or carrying the object easily. I'm to make an arrangement or meetings or sign often by phone or writing. Payment and amount of money paid. Greeting, something friendly or polite that you say or do when you meet or work on someone. <laughs> Notified to tell someone officially about something. Mm -hmm. About to finish. That you say or do when or meet or welcome someone. Oh. Yeah. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, teacher. Did you finish? We want to show you something. We were looking for the word in the dictionary and we have like 
three or four uh, meanings. Uh, so we have to understand in which context we had we have to uh, write the meaning for example for example handle mm -hmm. uh, have three meaning it depends on the context yeah remember that we are in the context of a restaurant restaurant mm -hmm. so could be a deal with have responsibility for or be in charge of no read another definition to pick something up and touch hold or move it with your hands that one that one because you're not talking about um, remember in level three level four something like that we were using the context of uh, being in charge of but right now no the context uh -huh. here it's the the last one uh -huh. right uh-huh that's handle to operate or control something that could be difficult or dangerous is not about the context no uh-huh okay so to pick something up and touch mm -hmm. hi yes yes Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Two. The arrival. amounts of money paid. What, what does it mean, arrival? Ay, no sé cómo se dice eso. Arrangement. Ah, arrangement. Es un arreglo. Es el... Un arreglo. Arreglo. Oh. That's an arrangement. Arrangement. Yeah. Ok. Ah, pues sí. Uh, I think so that... ¿El primero, entonces? Ah, payment. Ah, payment, no, pero estoy, yo estoy todavía en confirm. <risa> ok, payment. Ahorita. Quiero ver. Mm. Pay. An um, amount of money paid. Pay. Paid. Pay. Mm -hmm. Paid. 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 Eh, está uno que dice an amount of money paid or the, the act, act of playing. Play. Sí, Ajá. también. Porque es como el acto de pagar. Es una Ajá. cantidad a pagar y el Ajá. acto de pagar, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Mm -hmm. Sí, creo que me convence más eso. <risa> la verdad es que la... You have la to mayoría... see with the context, right? Mm. Because we're talking about restaurants, so that's okay. Sí. ¿Dónde me llevo esa ahorita? Okay. The next is reading. Mm -hmm. Reading. Greeting. Reading. Reading. Greeting. Eso es como agradecer, ¿verdad? Greeting. Es como Por... saludar o algo así. Saludar. Saludar, okay. Thank you. Greetings. So you greet the customers. Uh, Somebody friendly. 
or polite that you say or the when you meet or welcome some someone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Podría ser, veamos sí. los otros. A welcome to someone or good wishes for a special occasion. Uh, Una acción especial. Puede ser ese también. Uh -huh. Sí, porque es una bienvenida. Pero aquí es como, siento yo como para solo ocasiones especiales, porque ahí dice el ejemplo, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Jennifer sent birthday greetings. Entonces, como. Ah, no. No, no. Ese no sería. Uh -huh. Ajá. Entonces, sería el primero. First. Uh -huh. Sí. Sí, sí. First. Sí. Al último. Este es como una notificación. notificación. Notify. Spotify. <ríe> Notify. <ríe> Notify. To tell someone of about something. Es como... No me carga. Avisar oficialmente de algo. O... Someone officially about something. Uh... No, siento ah, que sí. Eh, mm, mm, ah, pero yo lo escuchaba. Ah, no. Mm. A ver. Notify. Creo que es la misma, ¿no? Es la misma definición. Ah, algo mismo, listo y todo. Sí. Uh -huh. No cambia. Ah, pues no, esa, esa sería. La ganadora. To <risa> <risa> tell someone officially about something. Mm -hmm. uh, pronunciation uh, Arra arrangement algo así arrangement arrange arrangement arrange arrangement 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 or meeting mm -hmm. thank you mm, meeting third mm -hmm. time Okay, we we'll finish. Finish. I think okay, perfect. Perfect. You know, Valer? <laughs> Who will share it? Eh, la elegida es. Tan, tan, tan. <laughs> De <Dedocraticamente. No, no. laughs> Hola. De docráticamente. Ah. Docráticamente. No vamos a decir que Carla Lorena. <laughs> Oh. <risa> Así democráticamente. <risa> bueno, ahí me lo comparten. Claro. Okay, ver, yes. Ya nos vamos, lo voy a sacar. Así que asegúrense de copiar lo que no se les pierda. Ok, ahora. Okay, let's wait for the others to come. Who are missing? Uh, 
Okay. There we go. A ver. Who will be my first volunteer? Number one. You can share the screen, right? You can share the screen where you got your definition. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Volunteer, 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 volunteer. Novia, or or <laughs> have you have you take a picture because when the the groups end, my screen was erased. I told you, I told you, I told you. Copy, copy before, before, before. Mm -hmm. A ver, one volunteer, 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 Jose Alberto. Yes, teacher. Uh, I can share the screen, but uh, can I learn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Read, read the, the, the name? Sure, of course. Handle. The meaning of handle? It a part of, of, of an object designed for holding, moving, or carrying the object easily. See, okay, very good. That's the best definition for handle. You have more definitions there, right? That, uh, that's the best one. That's the one that applies with the context of restaurant. Thank you, Alberto. And let's see who wants to tell me the definition for confirm. Remember talking about the context okay. of restaurant. Uh -huh. Me, teacher. <clears throat> sí. Confirm uh, the, that means to make an arrangement <clears throat> or meeting certain, often by phone or writing. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. That is the definition for a confirm. A, in a restaurant, you confirm the order. How? How do you confirm the order? Mm -hmm. Repeat the order. The order to the customers. Exactly. To repeat the order, right? To repeat the, the order to the customers. So he says, yes, 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 exactly. That's what I want. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Um, what about number three? Payment. One. An, An amount, amount of money, money paid. Okay. An amount of money paid. That's payment, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Nice. And the next one is greeting. 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 Something friendly or polite that you say or do when you meet or welcome someone. Uh huh. Exactly. There are other like. Give the greetings, give my greetings to your mother. You go like that. But not in this case. That's not the like greetings to your mother. But is saying hello to people and welcoming them. Place. Notify. What about notify? Notify. Mm -hmm. 
You yeah. tell someone officially about something. <clears throat> exactly. Tell somebody officially something. That's not if I usually can be by a document, right? Okay, very good. Nice, nice. Now. Check. A ver, mouse. You're going to do this activity. Check these issues, right? An issue, remember, is a problem. These are common, common problems. Common problems with service, right? Yes, which of the following are the most common issues service you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you think establishing a procedure could help reduce those issues? Why? And we have number one, the waiter gets you food you did not ask for. Uh, the food takes too long to be served after ordering. The waiter is not polite. The dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. <laughs> That's <clears throat> right. And the last one, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Okay. Let's do first thing. Oh. First thing, uh, what you're going to do is check, right? Check the issues that you have experienced in a restaurant. I will check the ones I have experienced, right? So you check the ones that you have experienced. <clears throat> I have experienced this one. The waiter gets food you did not ask for. This one too. The waiter, the food takes too long to be served after opening it. Mm -hmm. This one too. The waiter. <clears throat> Um, the way the dish you want to order is not the that has happened to me, and the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. That's kind of similar to this one, right? But okay, Which... that one sometimes happen about the size of the food. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. That's true. You order a hamburger because you see it very big, and when you receive it, it is very little, right? <clears throat> I better order the little one so I don't get surprised when I get it because I know it's little. <laughs> okay. Um, have you experienced all these issues? All of them, the ones I checked? Yes. All of them. All of them, right? All of them. So what you're going to do now in your groups is discuss, choose one, right? You're going to choose only one. And as you, you already uh, finished them, what, you, what you're going to do is select one of the options, right? Just one, because you, we do not have time to give a, a solution to all of them. Choose one and then uh, create a procedure to prevent that issue. How can you prevent that issue? Hmm? How? How would you prevent that issue? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to give you five minutes because we do not know how much time. So I'm going to give you only five minutes. Oi, Karen wants you to share the definitions, she says. 
So you can share, someone can share the definitions, pero les pido un favor, mándenla al grupo de WhatsApp, no aquí. Porque Zoom se pone muy loco cuando se escribe mucho en el chat y después llego a las 12 de la noche convirtiendo el video. Oye, así. <ríe> Péguenlo, eh, peguen sus definitions en el, en el chat de, de... Y por eso yo siempre les ando pegando las cosas si se fijan en el chat de WhatsApp. Porque si no, Zoom se aloca. Y hoy que tuvo actualización, qué bueno que mañana es a suerte. <ríe> bueno, en la mañana, en la noche no. En la noche no, ya saben que en la noche tenemos clase. Ok, vaya, les dejo entonces para que vayan a, a trabajar. I'm going to send you with the same groups, ok? With the same groups. So, you already know how you were working and that would be faster. There you go. Ouch, no, sorry. Bueno, pues no van con el mismo. There you go. Eh, Choose only one, one issue. Don't choose all of them, just one and give a procedure, make procedures to give a solution. Try to join. No le aparece, Carlos. Lo voy a, lo voy a mover. Lo voy a mover, a ver si así le aparece. Check. Igual Grace, la voy a mover. A ver si así le aparece. No, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, cheque hoy. No le aparece. Tendría que aparecerle un llamadito. Ahí tin, tin, tin suena a veces cuando uno los, los manda. Veamos. Ahí lo cambié a otro grupo. No. No, no me aparece nada. Qué raro. Lástima que aquí no hay forma de, de, de llamarlo, solo lo puedo mover. Porque hay plataformas que le dan chance a uno de llamar. Pero aquí no se puede. Ya sé qué voy a hacer. Me voy a, me voy a meter al grupo y de allá lo voy a llamar. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? You have to choose one of the, one of the issues of the problems. Y de allí. Solo uno. Sí, only one. And give a solution. Háganme un favor, David. ¿Cómo es que llaman? A mí no me aparece para llamar gente. Eh, ahí está un signo, dice as profile. No, a mí Abajo me a, la, a la par. ¿A la par de qué? De donde dice share, share screen. Solo me aparece chat, pausar, detener grabación, sala, grupos pequeños. Si no es que a mí Lo me... que pasa es que me imagino que como se la fintriona no, no va a poder. Sí. Mire si puede. Ah, ya logró entrar Carlos. Ahí está. Que no le aparecía la llamada. Ajá, sí, no me da a mí la opción y eso es lo que le decía a Carlos, yo no puedo llamarlo, solo puedo moverlo y moverlo y moverlo hasta que le aparezca porque no me deja llamar. Entonces, dicho lo que vamos a hacer es de la página 17. Uh -huh. Exacto, choose one problem and give uh, procedures, create a group of procedures in order to avoid that problem, right? Oh. Hello. 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 Hi, teacher. Háganme un favor. 
Llámenme a Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. ¿Cómo se eh, llamamos? A la par de, de chair, ahí aparece la opción de llamar a ustedes. A mí no me aparece esa opción. Grabar, pedir ayuda, chat, restricción. Ah, pedir ayuda solo al teacher, pueden pedirle entonces. Pues no me aparece la de llamar. No le da la opción de llamar a otro compañero. Mm, no. no, no vamos a los tres puntitos y tampoco no aparece sí. nada. Eso le falta a Zoom, poder llamar gente que no logre entrar así solito. Y qué mal, qué mal. Ah, ok, vaya. Remember, you have to choose a problem. ¿Cuál no problem? Eh, de los cinco que vimos. Uno. Mm -hmm. Only one. Ok. Only one. Okay. Mm, the dish in the menu different menu differs for the actual dish the the waiter brings on the table. Mm. I team or two options or four. What do you prefer? Eh, what, uh, ¿Cómo sería? Um, um, put on the menu. Um, eh, como... Ay, no sé cómo decir. Put on the menu. No, put. Easy. Ay, no, no sé. Cómo poner platos en el menú que sean fáciles de cocinar. Ah. Eh, prepare easy dishes. O oh, assign easy dishes in the menu. Ajá. Oh, uh, the number three, um, I think so. Um, Pero, ¿quién, but, ¿quién va escribiendo? Porque en... no sé si alguien va escribiendo las ideas. Sí, yo he escrito unas. Escribió la del menú, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Ok. Elmer, you, your turn. My procedures um, in the number three, mm -hmm. the boss, um, the, wait, wait, wait. the boss train the waiter. Uh -huh. And the... Um, Which problem did you choose? Which Amen. problem did you choose? Uh, the first problem was the, the food takes too long to be served after ordering. Okay. The second, I don't know. <laughs> ah, eh, a ver. But you, you choose only one. Ah, only one. Ah. Only one. Ah. Give, one. Ah. And give, a, give a, a procedure, a greater procedure for one. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh, and then you decide, okay, um, probablemente, right probably they are not following the procedures that's why they are having that problem so did they follow these and these and these steps 
they won't have that problem anymore. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Uh, how many? Um, how many? Ah, how do you say? How many? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like three steps. Steps. Ah, steps. Three steps. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it. Okay, you will have one minute it's because okay. I'm calling you now. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver, no lo dejó, ¿verdad? Y no lo pudimos llamar de, de allá adentro. Me quedé con un grupo que, este, éramos cuatro. Ajá. No, éramos tres, pero, éramos tres, perdón, pero Carlos Josué creo que no estaba también en, en, en carretera, no sé. Sí. Y Adriana tampoco ha llegado a la casa, entonces me quedé solito. Va. I was alone. Oh, so sorry. Mejor se hubiera quedado aquí. Aquí habían tres también. <ríe> bueno. Bueno, been... Ya estamos de regreso. A ver, who will be my first volunteer to chair? Which problem did you choose? And what procedures did you write over there? Mm -hmm. Can I the first? Sure. Okay. Um, I choose the number three. The waiter is not polite. And I think uh, sometimes the waiters have a signal areas and we can change tables so that someone else can serve us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nice. Nice, nice. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Okay, one more volunteer. One more volunteer. Mm -hmm, a victim. A ver, Jose Alberto, choose the next victim. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me see. Uh, Nubia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Okay. In my group, choose the um, number four, the dish you want to order is not available, okay. but it appears listening in the menu. The um, procedures uh, will help. It's a um, improved purchase, purchasing, purchasing, mm -hmm. purchasing process. Processes? Products. Uh, update the menu regular regularly. Uh -huh. uh, inform the consumer mm -hmm. that the dish is not available. Okay, very good. Or if it is the season, right? For example, you cannot ask for mangoes in December. Ojo cotes in, in January, because they are not, right? O lorocos in, a, in, right now there are lots of lorocos, but if you want pizza de loroco in November, probably you won't find it. Okay. If you remember, bueno, no, ustedes están muy chiquitos para recordar, pero los que están más de mi edad, <laughs> you will remember that oh long time ago you found apples and grapes only in december and the rest of the year no, no apples <laughs> you could find apples grapes and pears all december but a lot everywhere but the rest of the year, there were no apples. Now, That's true. Of course, 
Now, of course, everything is different and we can find apples every time of the year, right? Okay, well, it is time. So I'm going to call attendance and I'm going to tell you who is staying with me today. Adriana. Ah, Edwin, le toca, ¿verdad? Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. Da David. Present teacher. Miren, ya dejó de llover aquí. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Yo dije, ya se escapó, ¿verdad? No quedarse conmigo. <risa> Ay, no, pero no, ¿verdad, Edwin? Ok, Elda Cristina. Elda. Present teacher. Gemma Carolina. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No. Nota. José Alfredo. Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizette Tayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Carolina. Grace. Rosa Hilda. Luis Mauricio, ok. Bueno, that's teacher. it. Hmm? Who's the teacher? You didn't mention my name. Ah. Really? Elmer. Are, are you sure? All the people in the mention. Ok, bye. So, Elmer, Fabricio, present, right? Eh? Ok, bueno. Queda él conmigo hoy. Have a good night. To you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. We have classes. Remember, right? <laughs> no, ya sueto. No. <laughs> no, ya sueto. Qué feo. Sí. <laughs> sí, sí, sí. Así es que, si yo tomo algo, bueno, mejor así terminamos un día antes. <ríe> si no se nos hace más allá todavía. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Take care. Hi, Edwin. Bye. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Fine. Mm -hmm. Do and you have you? any questions? Pues aquí, mejorando, 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 despacito. Pero ahí vamos mejorando. Y... Bueno, es que es mejor. Sí con, sí, con cuidado porque hay movimientos que uno de repente hace así como que... ¡ah! Son involuntarios. Sí. Sí. No, y lo triste es que de repente se mueve el músculo y el tendón sufre. Entonces, ahorita me anda doliendo el, el brazo, mm. pero por, por el dolor que me agarraba acá, no sé si se acuerda el curso pasado que yo pasaba así, ¿Sí? que de repente me quedaba así, que me costaba respirar, por lo menos eso ya no, mm. ¿verdad? Ya no. Pero sí. Mm. Eh, ya muevo la mano un poquito más porque se me estaba congelando el hombro porque las primeras dos semanas me dejaron uh -huh. así, no moverse el, justo, justo en lo que estábamos entre curso y curso. Yo estuve es incapacitada. El hombro, el hombro era el... Es el, es el manguillo, el manguillo. Ah, el manguillo rotador. 
Y ha estado padeciendo de varias, llámese varios, varios términos. Sí, bien feo eso yo jamás sí. había oído de eso. Y Me ha dado fascitis plantar, que es que se endurece la parte de abajo de la planta del pie. Ay. Sí, después, en el año pasado me dio, se llama tendinitis de Kerbain, que Suena. es de la muñeca. Suena medio doloroso. Sí, y lo primero de lo que había padecido es del manguito rotador. Sí. Es que los, los tendones, como que, bueno, yo, mi tendón está roto. Así es que ahí vamos, esperando que, esperando que, re, que se regenere solo. Sí, sí. Y la sí, operación sí. está para largo. Sí. Así es que, a ver qué tal. A veces, preciando, a veces me duele aquí, a veces me duele por aquí, a veces el brazo, a veces esto de aquí, del, de esto. Y Ajá. a veces aquí. Entonces, no. Pero yo sé que es lo mismo. Sí, es lo mismo. Entonces, ahí ando con cuidado, poniéndome hielo cuando es posible. Ahí, ahí vamos. Sí. <ríe> Improving little by little. But there, you, there we go. One day, I will tell you, yes, I can put my two hands up. <ríe> yeah, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. Okay, tell me, Edwin, do you have any questions? Um, uh, the last homework uh, for definition, or oh, that means that some, some words like uh, bondly, uh, I, I dry ground in, in the answer. Uh huh. Because but I, 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 I got clear the, the now the you meaning. you have you copied the definitions that yes. we that we did and uh -huh. we we I am I go to corregir to fix it I already made the observation so don't worry if uh, two of the sentences i guess is number two and number five si no me equivoco uh -huh. that have a I have a mistake here more beautiful than yellow ah, sí. in the homework number 1.1 1. 1 1. is more beautiful uh -huh. than and more interesting than uh -huh. pero allí uh -huh. le da error entonces estamos esperando que, que corrijan y el otro de hoy que es este bundling, bundling. la number three uh -huh. y la number five que tienen eh, error, ¿verdad? Así es que allí no se asuste que le salgan malas uh -huh. en, el, en el momento, ahorita, pero eh, esperamos que en el transcurso de, de esta semana o la otra lo corrijan y para cuando recoja la tarea número dos, ya esté corregido. Entonces, sí. déjenlo bueno, aunque les aparezca con error. Uh -huh. Porque así cuando ellos corrijan el error, ya a ustedes ya les va a aparecer buena. Entonces, yo ya la voy a poder recoger tranquilamente. Ya, la, ya lo valida. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exacto. Correcto. Ok. Sí. De todas maneras, eh, cuando recojo las notas número dos, verifico si ha habido algún cambio en la 1 y hoy definitivamente que lo habrá cuando hagan la corrección y cuando este recojo la tarea número de dos reviso las otras dos y cuando reviso cuando recojo la última uh -huh. igual reviso todas por cualquier cosa uh -huh. verdad okay. por, por cualquier solamente esa era la, la, la inquietud de, de sí de, pero ya ya se confirmó porque yo lo contesté así pero como buscando que estuviera correcto, Ajá. aunque sí tenía mi duda, más que todo en, en, la, en la tarea de, de que vimos hoy. En la de hoy y la 1. Y la 1. Sí. Ajá, pero ya sí. les señalé allí a ellos, pero y si no les voy a volver a recordar. Yo recuerdo mucho, ¿verdad? Okay. Hasta que nos, nos arreglen allí y ya no pueda quedar nítido. Para, okay. Esperaría yo que por lo menos la otra semana ya pueda recoger las notas. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ok. Pues únicamente será la, la, la inquietud. 
Ok, perfecto. Y siento que el vocabulario sí lo, siento que lo domino bastante. Y sí. Me cuesta, sí. pero ya puedo expresarme un poquito más. Sí, fíjese que yo sí. estoy viendo que, por ejemplo, este curso me comentaban y me decían, tiene más cosas, tiene más vocabulario y, y sí es cierto, es cierto. Y aquí se le va tirando más a a sí. crear más de, 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 de lo suyo propio ya le da un poquito más de espacio para, sí. para hablar más. O sea, hay que aprovechar. Sí, a veces cuesta porque ya uno ya está ahora y ya está cansado. Y no, yo sé. Siempre digo, hoy solo este va a ser el último mes que voy a escribirme, pero es una ventaja recibir sí. este sí, tipo de, definitivamente. de capacitación. Definitivamente, y en virtual es otra historia, porque no sí. es lo mismo tener que desplazarse a un lugar para poder recibir sí. la clase y después volver a desplazarse todavía sí. mucho más cansado. O sea, que, ajá, es, ¿no? En esa facilidad. Así, por lo menos ya están en casita. Exacto. Vaya, pues, bueno. Erwin, take care then and see you tomorrow. Bueno, you too have a nice. Good night. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.